African drums are talking. Land of serene beauty and staring horror. Slimy rivers and parched plain. Where nature laughs in a thousand voices to mock the efforts of civilization. Where masked murder thrives and hides itself behind the cloak of life. This is Africa. Professor Anton Edwards and his party, led by Ifabi, a beautiful native girl, enter the whispering forest of death in search of a legendary treasure. Leaving Lorna and Ifabi with Nguru, the professor and Jack go in search of water. They find a stream, but as they stoop to fill the containers, a weird prehistoric man-creature wades through the water, passes close to them, and disappears among the trees. A scream from Lorna brings them running to camp, but the girls have vanished and only the tracks of the beast man are visible. They follow these and find Nguru already following the tracks. The trail leads them to a lake, with the huts of prehistoric lake dwellers skirting the shore. All is quiet, and the professor believes that the man they are following is waiting in the fringe of the forest for the moon to be obscured before carrying his prizes across the open space between forest and lake. The three men intently watch the curving edge of the forest as a cloud moves eerily across the moon. Something moving across this edge, sir. It's keeping close to the trees. Where, Jack? Follow the line of my finger. It's moving outwards now. Yes, I've got it. Going down toward the lake. That's the fellow we're after, see? Yes. He's carrying the girls, one over each shoulder. Wana, Nguru, go catch him. Plenty good fight. No, Nguru, we can't do it that way. I wish we could. One yell out of him and we'd probably have the whole village to deal with. We must watch and see where he goes, then try to do things quietly. He's making for the bridge of that hut straight ahead of us. Doesn't seem to be anybody moving on that one. Yes, there he goes. Come on. We've got to follow and get in the shadow of that bridge. There's a low fire burning on the platform, sir. Uh, He's taken them into the hut. Evidently, there's a doorway on the right facing down the lake shore. I believe there's someone sleeping by the fire. Looks like a hut of body. Let's get down under the bridge here. We'll be able to see more what's going on. Make plans. Well, now... Nayane, man, Naona. He's come out of the hut and going to the fire. Yes. That was someone sleeping there. He's kicked him awake. Probably wants more wood on the fire. Hope it won't throw too much light. We've got to get up there unseen if possible. No, sir, it's another man. He's coming this way towards the bridge. Keep down, everybody. Uh, uh. Oh, Nayane, man, him guard. Uh. Yes, he's a guard, all right. He's squatting on the bridge, looking toward the forest. We'll have to get behind him somehow. Where did the other one go? Back in the hut. You can hear him moving about. Uh, Unguru, think you can swim out and climb up one of the piles and attract the guard's attention? Jack and I will come up behind him when he turns. But the job must be done silently. It is good, Bona. Can do. Off you go, then. Gee, I hope we can get in that hut soon. Lorna must be scared to death. Well, she knows we're doing everything we can to find them. Probably listening now for the slightest sound of our approach. Look, one girl's climbing the upright. Maybe there are others with a fire on the far side. Don't worry. He'll take a good look before making his move. There's someone walking on the platform. Coming this way. Two of them up there now. Wonder if that's the fellow from the hut, huh? I don't think so, sir. The footsteps came from way back with the fire. Well, we'll have to wait for Nguru to get there before starting anything. There, he's climbing about the platform. His legs are drawn up out of sight now. We'll have to take a chance to watch what's going on. Slide out a bit until you can see. We've got to be ready to move quickly. There are two of them, sitting close together watching the forest. The fellow evidently expected to be followed. Nguru's making toward them. Looks as if he means to tackle them alone. We can't let him do that, sir. Don't worry about him. He knows what he's doing. Hmm. Moving just like a shadow on all fours. He's rising. Get ready, Jack. This is one of his favorite tricks. He'll crack their skulls together and they won't know what happened. But don't move until he gives us a signal. There it goes, sir. Wait, keep down. Now take a look. See what he's doing? Why, uh, the... 
The two guards are still there. And Guru's lying in their shadow, holding the unconscious bodies upright. That's in case someone heard the noise he made. If anyone comes out to take a look, everything appears to be normal. There's a signal. Come on. Now move carefully, Jack. Good work, and girl. You'll have to stay here and watch them. You know what to do if they start to move. I wanna. Come on, Jack. Try not to swing the bridge as you move. It makes it confounded, Rocket. Sounds as though you were right, sir. He's sleeping. There's the entrance. Have to get in and take a chance with the flashlight. It's too dark to make anything out. When I switch it on, take a quick look around. Get the lay of the place. We'll have to work in darkness after that. Okay. Father, Jack, is that you? Shh. Have you got it? Yes. They're sitting with their backs to the center pole. He's sleeping on those skins to the right. Move in gently. The girl's arms are tied behind them. Oh, Jack, I knew you'd come. Were you hurt here? No, just terribly frightened. How did you find me? Never mind that now. Use your knife on those thongs. Saw through them. We'll never get them inside. You all right, Ifabi? Yes, what man? The hour is not yet for Ifabi. She's been wonderful. Hush. He's moving. He's gone outside to look around. We've got to be quick. You free, Lola? Yes. My hands are free, what man? Come on, Jack. We've got to catch him on the platform outside, knock his legs from under him. I'll take care of his arms. Right. No. All right. Get him. Hold on to him, Jack, while I bend his head down. Hold on. I can't. He's getting away from me. Look out. Buona. Runga. Plenty good heart. Good Lord. What happened? Hun Guru hit him on the head with a club. Come on now. Let's get out of here. Lorna, if I be... They're here, sir. Up the beach into the trees as fast as you can. Now get going. Which way, sir? Keep going straight ahead. Thanks, Nguru. That's another time you pulled us out. I couldn't bend that thick neck for the life of me. No, crack him neck, huh? Too big. Head to him plenty hard for Ronga. See? <laughs> well, that's a perfectly good war club. All shot to pieces. You see that, Jack? Take a look at it. Why, it's split down the middle. Yeah. Head of a gorilla wouldn't make that impression on it. Well, thanks again, Nguru. Another minute and Jack and I would have been pulp. They are animals, white man, who serve the devils that live in the forest. It was told to me by the man who gave Ifabi the golden cup. The keepers of the treasure alone know what lives within the forest. And they shall tell no man. Mm, I thought as much. How do you feel, Lorna? All right now, Father. Ooh, hasn't it turned cold? There's dawn coming up. Him rain come for plenty soon, Buana. White man, we follow the trail of the keepers of the treasure. How do you know, Ifabi? This tree, it has a mark upon it. Uh, well, the tree's been blazed, sir. Yes, recently, too. Well, why should they blaze the trees like this, Ifabi, if they know the path? The forest devils change the path to confuse the traveler. But the trees are planted by a Shimba and Shamba, and no devil may touch them. Uh, there's a wind starting. Uh, we're going to get soaked in a few minutes. Better crawl under some of these large ferns. They'll give us a little shelter anyway. If Fabi goes along the trail while the white man shelters himself, she will return. Why is that? Aren't you afraid of the forest devils? The rain will keep the devils busy. And if Fabi should know the way, that we may travel faster. What's the Fabi's idea, sir? I don't know, Jack. It's possible, though, she thinks the same as I do. That those trees were blazed especially for our benefit. To lead us the wrong way? But no one knew we were coming here, Fabi. Well, goodness knows. Well, here comes the rain. It is well. 
I have followed faithfully and waited long. You will not wait much longer, Adako. Mm -hmm. If I'll be... What of the white woman? The devil's servant shall find her tied to a tree. You must kill the black warrior. Mm. The white men will look into Ifabi's eyes and die by their own hand. 